Marc Chagall was born in 1887, one of nine children in his home in the small Russian village of Vitebsk in what is now known as Belarus. He was interested in art even as a young child. He began his studies in art in Russia, but as a young adult moved to Paris, France to study art more seriously. He lived and worked in France for many years, but his childhood in the small Russian village was an inspiration throughout his long life. He lived to be 98 years old. He moved several times in his life to escape religious persecution and wars, all while maintaining an optimism and dedication to depicting scenes of love. He often painted rich, colorful views from windows, as well as dreamlike scenes of people seemingly flying through the air. He also created a beautiful series of stained glass windows teeming with deep blue colors. Since a lot of us have been spending time looking out our windows at home this year, I thought this would be a wonderful project for us to do together, recreating a view from a window like Marc Chagall. You'll need paper, and for drawing, either a pencil and eraser, a Sharpie, or a black crayon. And some kind of paints, if you don't want to use paints today, you could use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever your favorite art material is. And you might need some water and paper towels if you're using paint today. So I've chosen to just go ahead and draw with a Sharpie today. If you don't want to do that or you don't have a Sharpie or you don't like the black outlines, you can use your pencil and eraser or a crayon or colored pencil, whatever you have handy. So the first step today, since we're drawing a view out of a window, is to put some kind of window or door frame on your paper. So I am drawing the view out my bedroom window. So I'm going to draw my windows as I see them right from my bed. I'm going to put a curtain here on this side. And my curtain rod would be about like this. And I have part of the window frame right in the middle. You might have mullions, like a cross, in your window. Or you might have a nice big picture window like this. And if you want, you could add some of the furniture or other things that you would see inside the room. I'm going to add some of the frame to the window and I think I will put a little table here visible in the foreground. Might be nice to add a little vase of flowers or something here. Maybe there's a painting or a photo visible right on the edge. I have some paintings hanging in my bedroom, so I'm going to just hint at those with the little frames there. Okay, and now I'm ready to draw the exciting part of this artwork, the view from the window. So my window view has some mountains, and in the morning there's often clouds here. I don't want to make harsh outlines for my clouds, so I'm not going to draw them with my Sharpie, but I'll remember when I'm painting to put them there. And there's a few trees I can see. There's a pine tree in the distance here, so I'm going to draw that and kind of some hints at some of the other trees that I see. All right, so I don't want to put too much more detail. I'm going to get to that with my painting, 
but Marc Chagall often drew figures floating in the sky in his paintings. So along with drawing kind of the realistic view out my window, I think I'll make it more in the style of Marc Chagall by putting some floating figures here in the sky. I'm not making them too detailed. <clears throat> Mine are kind of far away. So I'm going to put a little girl. She'll have some ribbon floating from her dress there. And maybe her dog. Wouldn't that be fun? So I'm going to put the dog. little ear and his legs and his tail. Not too much detail, just a little bit. Okay, I will get to more detail with my paints. So now I'm ready to paint. I'm going to start with the sky. Like I said, I want to put some clouds in. So I want kind of a nice soft sky like I would see with the sunrise in the morning. So I'm going to wet the area for the sky, leaving this window frame dry and looks like I had a little bit of another color paint in my water or in my brush, but that's okay. I won't see that once we add our blue and other colors for the sky. So I'm not painting where the figure is, just the blank sky part. Leaving the figure and the dog dry. Okay, now it's time to add some blues and maybe a little pink because I often see pink in my morning sky at my house. So I'm going to add some blue and I don't want this to be too dark of a blue because it's just in the morning. So I'm using more water on my brush and water on the paper. If it were more of a night sky, I would have more paint and less water on my brush to make a darker blue. And I'm leaving some areas almost white. And then we're going to do my trick for making clouds. While my paint is still wet, I'm going to take a Kleenex tissue and blot some of that blue paint back away to make some puffy clouds. And then I said sometimes with the sunrise, I have a little bit of pink in the sky at my house. So I'm going to dab a little bit of pink in my sunrise. I want it to blend better, so I'm gonna go back and Add a little more water to that pink part. And there's my sunrise sky. Okay, I'm going to wait for that part to dry before I paint my figure and my dog or else they would kind of blend in with the sky. So let's give that a chance to dry and let's work on our mountains. Now, I am not going to draw every tree and every leaf 
Instead, I'm just going to do hints of the hills and the mountains and all the trees on them. And instead of just using green, we have a lot of green in our view this time of year in the summer. I'm going to add little bits of yellows or blues or different sections of the hill and the mountain. The yellow might be where the trees are just starting to bloom more. There might be some blue where there are more evergreen trees growing. So don't use just the green from your palette. Make your own green by adding some blue paint, some yellow paint, and let the watercolor do some of the painting and mixing on its own for you. Okay, this part down here, I'm going to make kind of a greenish brown where the ground is. So I'm going to mix green and some brown paint together to get the color I'd like. It's kind of an olive green. And I'll fill with that. So go on and color the rest of your painting or drawing with your paints. Remembering to mix different colors to get the exact shades you want and even putting dabs of new colors in where your painting is wet to make it more exciting. I'll finish up. And there we have my Marc Chagall inspired view from a window. I can't wait to see what you create for your window view. Don't forget to email your artwork to jennifer at blowingrockmuseum.org.